What deputies call a violent home invasion led to the death of an Oakhurst man. It happened back in 1997, and to this day, no arrests have been made in this case. Tonight, 2 News anchor Sharon Phillips is taking a closer look at the murder of Jose Gonzalez in this 2 News Oklahoma cold case. It was a cold and snowy night in January. Jose Gonzalez was living in the Oakhurst area across the river from Tulsa. At the time, he was rebuilding a mobile home he rented. The owner was a fellow named uh, uh, Tavias, and he lived just a few blocks away. And the unique thing about this case, there were two crimes in two jurisdictions. Mr. Tavias lived in Creek County. Uh, just three or four blocks away. Gonzalez was in Tulsa County. The night of Gonzalez's death, investigators say two people drove up to Mr. Tobias's house and stormed inside. They were begin immediately beating on Mr. Tobias, demanding money from him. When they couldn't get what they wanted, Jackson says things turned more violent. He turned around, whipped out his knife, and cut Tobias's throat. Fortunately, he didn't take care of his knife any better than he took care of his pistol. The two robbers left the house and stole Mr. Tavias's pickup and drove over to Mr. Gonzalez. Gonzalez and his son were staying in a camper on the property while they fixed up the mobile home. Investigators believe two men broke into the camper where Jose Gonzalez was staying and killed him in front of his 16-year-old son. After they killed Gonzalez, investigators say the suspects fled in the stolen pickup truck. Howard Cloud lives nearby and vividly remembers that night. Got home late from the Chili Bowl races. It was roughly 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and there was a lot of flashing lights at the opposite end of my property. Curious what all the commotion was about, he ventured out to see what was going on. I walked down there, and they said that a gentleman had had his throat cut and another gentleman had been murdered in the front yard. Cold case investigator Ed Jackson says this case is unique because they do have DNA evidence that was left at the scene. There is some evidence in this case that has not been uh, processed. For example, keep in mind this is 1997, when the stolen pickup was recovered, there were some fingerprints in there that didn't match to anybody that is in our records at the time. There were also blood smears. They collected those, but at the time, the sheriff's office couldn't really afford DNA testing. Jackson says he hopes they can get some forensic testing done on this case soon. I hope that we can see this uh, go to prosecution. Word, time will tell. In Oakhurst, I'm Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma. If you have any information on the Jose Gonzalez case or any other cold case within Tulsa County, you're asked to contact the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office Cold Case Unit. We have a link in the web version of this story.